Hi, my name is Jeremy Coffey. I own a company called Aptec Wiring Solutions. We are located in South Dayton, Ohio. We are going to be doing a how-to on hanging a TV above a brick fireplace and removing the mantle and lowering it. Okay, step one is to figure out how the mantle is attached to the brick fireplace. Uh, so we're going to have to look for the screws, which we kind of did earlier, and we will remove those and see what's behind it. As you can see, instead of being brick back here, we actually have wood, so that's going to limit how low we can actually bring the mantle down to. Perfect. Okay, now we found out that there is a beautiful gap, a little bit more than probably about two finger widths thick, so we'll be able to run our wi the wires behind it. So once everything's hung up, you won't even see the wires. All right, we have to make a hole to go behind the, the mantle here and get through behind the brick so we can get the wires through to the equipment that's down below. So we're going to take our drill and we're going to go ahead and break out the mortar so we can get a free clean passage all the way across. In order to conceal the wires from your view, we are running the wires through the side of the fireplace here come out this hole and then they're going to come through a hole that I will make in the mortar here and then they will conceal it all the way so they go up to the television. Now that we have our hole coming out from behind the brick, we're going to feed those into the cavity behind the drywall, come down here to the chamber and we're going to cut a hole out here in the drywall so that we can access our wires coming down from the mantle. Okay, so once we have it aligned with our prior outlet covers, I'm just going to make sure we're level here. Then we'll mark off where we're going to make our cut. Then we'll use just a standard drywall saw to make the cut. Once we make the cut, again, this will also help make sure all the wires are hidden. We have a nice clean presentation so that the end result, all the wires are hidden and you have a nice clean layout. Now, when cutting this hole here in the drywall, uh, where I will be running my wires up through, um, I have located three live wires of electric. So you want to be very careful um, if you are performing this task. And one thing that you'll want to do before you wall fish your wires is go ahead and test them to make sure that they're working properly. Uh, you can hook it up into the TV and then use like a Blu-ray or a cable box. Verify that it's working and then go ahead and run those. And then the last thing we'll do before we um, hook the TV up is plug them in again and make sure that they're working properly. That'll save you a lot of time. That way you're not running wires into the wall and then you find out that it was bad to start out with. Okay, the next step is we are going to put the arms for the television on the actual TV. And then from there we can get a measurement of how high we will be off the mantle for the actual bracket that goes, that gets bolted to the brick. Okay, each uh, mount comes with a bag of screws. So you're going to have to go through it and find out which one's going to work for your television which we've gone through and we found these. And easiest way to do that would be to actually try to screw it into the back of the TV. With the way that this TV is designed, there is a lip at the bottom of it, so it's going to require us using a spacer. And I'll show you how to do that now. Okay, and from here we're going to now get the measurement of where the actual mount going on the brick fireplace needs to be. So we're at uh, basically 20 and a half. Okay, now I'm going to put the mount on the fireplace to where we need to be. We've already marked where we want the bottom of the television to be, which is right here above this tape with this mortar line. So I'm going to measure up. The TV will hang right here on this edge. I'm going to put this up here and I will measure down to where I have 20 and a half, which is right there. So. I'm going to drop that. I'm going to put this on a mortar line because you don't want to drill through brick, you want to drill through mortar. So you want to have, you want to see mortar in any of these holes here and then down the bottom you want to be able to see mortar because you want to get four lags into this fireplace wall, under this brick wall. You'll also want to make sure that the mount's level before you mark it. 
and use a standard bullet level here and it'll give you exactly what you need to have. Line it up on the motor lines, then you mark it. You don't have to be exactly centered because you have plenty of play on the back of the TV. Because this mount is 32 inches wide and the arms on the back of the television are only 16 apart, so you have plenty of room to move it if you need to. After you get everything marked, all you have to do is drill the holes. The next step will be finding which wires we will need for this installation and getting them up the wall to the mantle to get behind the television for the nice clean install that we're doing here. Uh, in this circumstance, we have three HDMIs and a cable for our infrared uh, detector. I will be using standard fishing rods. They're using for standing cable glue rods up. What I do is attach a couple of those together, shove them up the wall, which will also flex and bend. And once I have that come up, it'll pop out through the top hole. And then I would able, be able to feed my wires. Therefore, I've taped all the heads of the wires to the other end of that cable and that rod. Those will be sent up from the bottom, and we'll pull those out through the top. All right, now that I have my hole cut out, my wire's coming out. I have a plate here that I'm going to use to feed my wires, so I'll just feed my wires. This will have its own clips to hold itself in place in the wall. So once I have that in place, I'll screw that in, and then therefore I have a nice clean presence for where my wires come out to hook up to the equipment. Okay, the next step, we are going to actually put the mount on the brick fireplace. Uh, we're going to use these lags. Um, when we drill, in, drill into the uh, mortar, you're going to need some type of uh, anchor to hold them in place. What we'll do is we'll actually put these plastic anchors, but we also put a glue substance in it. That way when it hardens up, there's no way of anything ever coming off the wall. The other two? Yeah. Now that we have the wire through the wall, we're going to have to run it through this, behind the wall, through to this hole. Now that we've got the wires coming out from behind the brick, this is where the mantle will be, the TV up here, so now we need to feed the wires up and out through here so they will go to the TV. So literally we just fish those with our hands. The board we had removed initially from the man behind the mantle uh, where we ran the wires, we measured the depth of the wires to be approximately one inch. So we're going to take one inch off of this board here, we'll cut that off, and that way it'll fit back in place with our wires behind it. So therefore we can hang our mantle, and once again all of our wires stay nice, neat, and hidden from view. I will insert that into position so that it is flush with the rest of the wall. Then we'll adhere that and all of our wires will be gone and ready to hang our mount and our uh, mantle. Now the next step we are going to put the mount onto the fireplace. So you'll want to line it up with your pre-drilled holes. Okay, now that we have our support brackets up, we are going to re hang the mantle. Now that we have the mantle up, we are ready to hang the TV. Now that we have all of our wires coming out of the wall, we have our stand in place, our equipment in place, we've hooked up all of our wires on this end, so now to take it up here to the top of the mantle, we have all of our wires coming through, we have our mantle adhered, we have our mount in place, our sound bar in place. So all that's left to do is hook up the sound bar, and then we'll place the TV on, get a correct accurate measurement, make sure it's level, hook it up, and then we'll go on from testing from there. Ta-da! This is our finished product. If you have any questions or an interest in having us come do this install for you, uh, please visit our website at avtechltd.com. And once again, thank you for watching our video on how to hang a flat panel TV on a brick wall.